I mean, I'm not gonna go out there and just look, you just, you know, if the right person come in time, if meet at the right place, why not? Was the last one right? Why did that one work out? He was a cheater too? <laughs> Hello, that's a question. Yes. He was a cheater too. <laughs> yeah, every man that you've been with has been cheating on you. Maybe yeah. they don't like after you give it up to them. Maybe they don't like what's going on down there. Maybe they don't like that. <laughs> I don't have nothing going on down there, sir. It must be. No. Why are they going and looking for other other cooter cat? If yours no. was perfect. <laughs> Thank you for being respectful. You're welcome. Okay, how long have you been single? Mm, about uh, a year and a half or so. Okay, what part of the world are you from? Uh, Florida. You're just from Florida? You're just a BW what? from Florida? No, originally I'm from, I'm Haitian. Yeah, that's what I thought. I could hear it. I was going to say, you sound like you're Haitian. Yeah. I've talked to enough women during my platform time so i know different accents and things okay yeah. so as a haitian woman right we're talking about this thing have you this is the topic we're talking about being able to attract and keep a man like me so i want to know have you been able to ever attract or keep a man similar to me or somewhat like me have you ever been able to have one yeah okay Where's he at right now? Um, the thing didn't work out. Okay, the why? Child father, things didn't work out. And he's, he's your child's father? Mm -hmm. Were you guys ever married? No. Okay, why do you think it didn't work out? Um, you know, we, you know, we outgrow each other and, um, you know, he was doing things that he was not supposed to be doing, so. As a woman, I think that, you know, if I don't believe in staying in something um, just because um, to keep that person and if they're, if they're not doing what they're supposed to do, I think it's best sometimes. What, what, what do you mean he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do? What does that mean? Um, as far as infidelity and so, so I had to just. Okay, so first of all, a man like me, first of all, me. I'm not that type of a man. I don't mess around with a bunch of other women or other women. When I'm with a woman, I'm with her. But that goes to ask the other question. Do you <laughs> think that you were worthy enough if you, okay, what made him a man like me? What kind of man was he? I mean, he had his own business. Was he religious? Was, was he Muslim, Christian? What was he? He was a Christian. Okay. Was he pretty strong in his faith? Yes. Um, I wouldn't say, you know what, at the time, I wouldn't say yes. No, he wasn't really strong in his faith. Okay. So then he, it's already, he wasn't like a, a man like me. Okay. So what else? He said he had a business. Yes. Okay. Do you know how much money he made on a year, uh, annual basis? Um, Probably like, I would say. No, not probably like, what is up with y'all women having so much intercourse with these men and y'all don't even know because how it's been a, it It's been a while. Um, I you would say no baby with about him, if you, listen, 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 if you're gonna have a baby with a man, you need to know how much money he makes. Well, we both were young at the time, so. so how, it's young, like how, a young. how young? Um, he was 25 and I was 18. That's not that young for him. And you know how many women in the world get married when they're still in their teen years? Yeah. But That's not uncommon. That's not uncommon for a woman to marry, especially a woman from your country. Yeah. Is that uncommon for a Haitian woman to marry at 18, 19? No, it's not. No, it's not. Right. So what are you talking about? We were both young. I mean, we were both, I mean, I, he wasn't thinking about marriage and I wasn't thinking about marriage so neither. Okay, so y'all so was just thinking about baby making? <laughs> no. 
You didn't know how to control your cooter can? can? You know? hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because a woman, you said that you was able to attract a man like me, but you couldn't keep him. A woman that can attract a man, she know how to, she keeps her cooter cat. Oh, say that again. Keep a man, to attract and keep a man like me, you got to know how to be able to keep your cooter cat. So your cooter cat was hot. You wasn't no. thinking. You said you weren't thinking about marriage at all. Y'all had no conversation about we, marriage. Yeah, we thought of that. Then you just said y'all didn't about think about. Person. Hold on, hold on. You just said we you didn't married. But but... Wait, 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 wait. You told me y'all weren't thinking about marriage. Well, let me rephrase that. We at the at a point we did talk about that at some point. Okay. We did talk about it at some point. So it just, you know, we're together for about five years or so, and then it didn't work out. Folks, y'all got six minutes to get my like count up to 50K likes. Let's go. I'm putting a timer on right now before I forget. Um, okay. All right. So at some point, y'all talked about marriage. Mm -hmm. So why didn't it progress beyond talks? Um, I didn't feel like mentally he was ready um to be the man that i wanted him to be at the point because he was doing whatever it is that he wants to do as far as you know going out um clubbing and um every weekend and you would have uh, known that before y'all were having relations you knew that before y'all were having relations and he's he, that's another strike he's not like a man like me okay. Well, he probably was not a man. I don't like go me. out. I don't go out clubbing and doing all that stuff. Where, hell no. Yeah, he was probably not then. Oh, well, you don't even know. That's why I said, did you have a man? You said, yeah, I had a man like you. No, you didn't. I mean, I don't know enough about you, so you know. Well, you should have said that. I you came in that. hot. Hold on, you came in hot saying, yeah, I had a man like you. Well, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Yeah, but no. Look you at all these red like flags you. that you're putting out and why it didn't work out. You had a man that liked to go clubbing all the time. You had a man that liked uh, to mess and be with other women. You had a man that was not very religious. I can go on and on and on, all the things that you've already named. You have no discipline with his thing down there. Yeah, and that's what he's I have not, to He's me. not talking. He's not having conversation with you about marriage. I don't do that. If I'm talking to a woman, I'm talking to her about marriage because I already got to think she marriage material before I even want to talk to her like that. Yeah, which is I have right. to have some type of idea that she marriage material. Now, do you think he had any type of idea that you was marriage material before y'all hooked up? Do you think he thought you were marriage marriageable? Yes. Okay. Down part well, of the black. How do you know? Because, you know, he met me through a friend and took me out of my parents' house. So, um, you know, he wasn't, he knows that I wasn't out there like that. Um, I'm a very respectful Are you, are you a nurse? Or what do you do? You work in healthcare? Are you a nurse? Yes. Okay. He knew you weren't out there like that. Yeah. So you were still living with your parents. That don't mean that you weren't out screwing. Folks, y'all got three minutes and 48 seconds to get my like count to 50K. Tap this side of the screen. Thank you in advance. Um, that don't mean you can be in your parents' house and still doing all kind of wild stuff. Yeah, but I wasn't out there like that, no. Hmm. I wasn't. Okay. You weren't out there like that, but you were attracted to a man that was out there like that. I mean, things happen. What, yeah, when, okay, why, why were you attracted? Why were you attracted to him? When you, at the beginning, he seems like a decent person, and so. But you knew he was a clubber and partier, right? He didn't seem like that at the beginning, no. What do you mean at the how do y'all all getting fooled so much at the beginning? I mean it happened because some guys they you're meet moving real they fast. You're moving real their, fast. No, let's be let's be honest. You're moving real fast and your cooter cat was hot. No, it wasn't. 
Oh, really? How long after y'all met did y'all have relations? Um, I would say a year or so. Really? So he was deceiving you and you knew nothing about none of this other stuff that this was going on with this man for a year. Really? Really? I mean, I know some stuff. Waited, you know? Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. He, wait, he waited to get your cooter cat for a year. And you were spending all this time getting to know this man, but still after a year, you didn't know nothing about all this other stuff he was doing. I was 18 years old. I was young. I was young. So what were you doing for the year that you were getting to know him? You know. You didn't know he was going out like that? I mean, sometimes he would lie. He would say, oh, I'm going, you know, with a friend of mine. I'm going to go see a friend of mine. Then after when we... You know, then he started doing what he's supposed to do because usually men put their best foot forward and they're not honest. And then after, then that's when you they when they know that they got you, then that's when they step out of their shell and to be. You know, you, you know, yeah. you know what's amazing to me because this is y'all just come up here and say all kind of BS. It's amazing to me that, and, and I'm I'm telling the truth and I'm being serious because I want y'all to really think hard about this. Y'all seem to not know nothing about the activities of a man and he's lying and he's doing this. Y'all seem to know nothing. After you find out he's cheating, then all of a sudden y'all become super detective. Or once y'all suspect he's cheating. Now y'all can see through all the BS. Now y'all can figure out, you know, where he's been. You, you know how to uh figure out his location and and smell his pee his pickle to see if he's been screwing another woman or now you got more um intuition about what's going on with his phone and all this stuff but it's not until he's either cheating or close to cheating that you guys figure that out that's amazing how come this don't kick in in the beginning how come y'all don't do this stuff when y'all first meet the man before y'all start screwing well, some men not really know how to lie and they know how to hide Things I didn't well. say that. I How said, no, well. listen to once again, listen one more time. I said, why do y'all become that way after the man is either close to cheating or already cheating? Then all of a sudden, y'all senses just are heightened. Then you don't fall for none of his lies anymore. Now you can see right through him. How come you couldn't see right through him before he penetrated that cooter cat? Mm. <laughs> Things happen. And that's how you get to learn from your mistakes sometimes. Sometimes you, you, you digmatize. You digmatize. I'm sorry. You digmatize. No. <laughs> sometimes things happen and you learn from your mistakes and then you don't make it. Back there. Who's scrubbing pots and pans back there? <laughs> my mother, um, my mom. She's in the kitchen doing something. Where's your child right now? Oh, my son is at school. How old is he? Ten years old. How old are you now? I'm twenty-seven. And you've been single for how long? I would say a year a year and a half or so so the only man that you could attract that was sort of like me was this man from over 10 years ago and ever since then you ain't been able to get another one i mean i dated from here and there but no 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 i'm not saying dated i'm talking about a man like me you haven't been able to find another one no. for 10 years no. Why do you think that is? I mean, I've been focusing on myself as well. well. You haven't been focusing. You were just with a man a year ago, year and a half ago. I, I don't know. Maybe it's not the time. I don't know. Maybe it's not the time. Let's wait on God for the when right person. The time, when's the time? When's the time? I guess when God said so. The man you were with a year and a half ago? Were y'all? Were you guys sexually active? Um, 
Be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how come you didn't wait on God with that one? How come you gave him Kuda Cat? I mean, again, mistake happened. <laughs> I'm not saying no, to do it by, by giving it to him. It all, so it's all a mistake. For a little bit. No, hold on. It's all, all of it's a mistake. All of it's a mistake. Not a mistake. It's not. You know, we both were adults and we decided to do that. And after why, did that, you say, why don't you call it a mistake if you was an adult and you decided to do it? it? It's not a mistake. Then after that, I'm like, okay, I'm practicing celibacy and I'm just going to just. How long have you been practicing? A uh, year and a half, yes. Okay. Yeah. But so now you're waiting on God this time? <laughs> waiting for the right person who deserves me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what is it about you that makes you valuable? What What is a man getting when he gets with you? I'm very kind and very unique. And um, I'm very, uh, you know, I have, I'm highly educated. And I have myself together. Um, you know, a man come into my life, they will come into um happy, I'm self whole, they will come and add into my happiness. You have money? I'm, I mean I mean I'm a nurse, so <laughs> nurses I mean we don't get paid as much as we're supposed to. Mm -hmm. But then again I do it um I so do you it for can't the offer the man no money. Can you cook like chef quality meals? Um, I can cook and I can learn. I, I, I know how to cook. Okay, so you can learn. So chef that means, quality, no, no, chef, hold on. Hold I'm on, sorry. On. You can't cook chef quality meals and you don't really have no money. And we know that your cooter cat's not that fresh because you already didn't pushed out babies and you didn't have other men all, all up in there. So I'm only two relationships my whole life. Yeah. You only had two men inside of there? Two relationship. Yes. Okay. But um, I'm, what, I'm, so what he's part, getting, okay, so he, so the man, so the man's getting two bodies, and he's getting uh somebody that can't cook like a chef. I can cook. I cook. I cook well, I'm anything. Try, I'm, listen, listen. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to raise your value way up because you're a single mom. First of all, the man got to take on that responsibility. You don't have that much money to entice a man like me. Like, hey, I'm putting, I, I have this business going on and here's another woman with, you know, a lot of money and business and stuff going on. I can put her with me. Well, then again, um, has- You're not, you're not listening. That's your problem. You know. Okay, I'm sorry. You gotta, you gotta have something to entice a man like me. If a woman could cook like a chef and she's a single mom, that might entice something like me. If a woman could, you know, she was really good at business and she's a single mom, that might entice, and she got money, that might entice a man like me. If a woman's a dime and she got no bodies on her, that might entice a man like me. Okay. You, I don't know what you really got. You just got a whole bunch of mediocre average stuff. So you, what it sounds to me like is you deserve just an average man. You average and you deserve an average man. There's plenty of average men out here. You talking about you waiting on God. There's a whole lot of average men out here. So why you can't just go get with an average man? I mean, I'm not going to go out there and just look, just, you know, if the right person come in time, if meet at the right place, why not? Was the last one right? Why did that one work out? He was a cheater too. <laughs> Hello, that's a question. Yes. He was a cheater too. <laughs> yeah, every man that you've been with has been cheating on you. Maybe they don't like after you give it up to them. Maybe they don't like what's going on down there. Maybe they don't like that. I don't have nothing going on down there, sir. It must be. No. Why are they going and looking for other other cooter cat if yours no. was perfect? <laughs> no, actually, the last one I found, I after the, I kind of found out that he was with somebody. <laughs> he was married, actually. Oh, he was already married. He was married. I did not know that. 
Yeah. Once again, didn't you hear what I said after the first one? This is the stuff y'all do this stuff over. And over. You know how many I've talked to thousands of y'all. Y'all all have mostly the same stories. Guru, I found out later. When did you find out? After I started giving them the coup de cat. They all have the same stories. I found out he was married. When? After I gave him the coup de cat. I found out he was a cheater. When? After I gave him the coup de cat. Yeah. Just some magic just comes up over y'all, don't it? Just some, some magic senses, huh? Now y'all can just sense it all. Ooh, okay, I didn't give you the coup de cat. You a cheater, ain't you? Yeah, yeah, you are. Let me see that phone. Is that what happens? As soon as y'all, ooh, man, y'all get pumped up, right? Ooh, all that hollering and screaming. And then as soon as it's done, you, you a cheater. I knew it. I felt it, the, the last pump, when you pumped me up, that, la that last pump, I felt it. I felt the cheating spirit come inside of me. Well, life is experience. You know, you, you, you live and you learn and sometimes you have to go through, you know, life in order for you to kind of be cautious about, you know, certain things and how to also, um, present yourself as well and learn from that and learn from your mistakes basically nobody is perfect i can't say that i'm the most perfect woman but i lady the the, the way that you talk and listen the way that you talk and act i can just tell right now you're not good at listening taking advice nothing I think advice you, very well. listen, listen you deserve an average man right you don't deserve a man like me deserve an average man. So you shouldn't be looking for no man like me. You should be looking for average man, right? How tall are you? Five two. How much do you weigh right now, right at this moment? Um, 120. Your arms don't look like they weigh 120. Are you serious? Your arms look a little bigger. Yeah, I work out. I Man, you don't look like you weigh no one twenty. Yeah, one twenty. I'm being honest. I'm not fat. I'm not. <laughs> I take care of myself. I work out uh, about four days a week, or sometimes five days a week. Yeah, I'm not yeah, over. Okay, look, my advice to you: stop looking for a man like me and look for an average man, an average Joe that make yeah. average money everything about him is average well, let me average, the average average pickle average size down there average in a bit look for everything average that's what you should be asking them tell them i don't want to be with you if you know how to tear it up in the bedroom i need an average man in every way because that's what you are you need somebody to match your energy oh well thanks for your opinion Okay, have a good day. You too, thank you. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.